Hey guys, today we're going to do a comparison of these two. We have the Fulval Holding and Breeding Box. It hangs on the outside of your tank and it uses a airlift tube to raise water into the tank and then drains back. It's good stuff. This one's the same thing. It's just a different brand, kind of no name. It is Ista, I believe. Ansta or something like that. Anyways, this is no name Chinese. Most of it's in Chinese print anyway. This is Fovil. Pretty much the same thing, but we're gonna test them out. This one's the uh, half gallon size or 1.9 liters. This one doesn't say how much water it holds. But we're gonna find out. So we're just gonna open them up and see what's inside. Pause. The price. Oh, the price. Um, <laughs> okay. I think if I remember right on the prices, this one was like twenty dollars, and this one was sixteen or eighteen. They're not very different in price. So yeah, we're gonna check that out. I'll have links in the bottom and you can from those you'll be able to see all the specifics about each one of them and the prices and all that junk. But for right now we're just going to see the physical differences. And I wanted to know the quality differences for myself. That's kind of why I got both of them. So no Flovel for the most part my experience with them has been pretty good. I have gotten some broken stuff from them but they fixed it pretty quick. I haven't opened these before and there really ain't much inside this here box. We have this, I'm guessing is the lid. That's it. It's a nice hang on back kind of style or hang on front, however you're gonna do it. And nice instruction manual. Looks like we got multiple languages. And attachments. Let's see what we got. We have like the lift tube. We have dividers. There's two dividers. So with the two dividers, you can make this into three chambers. And then there's a tube. There's some valves. All little random crap you can do. All right. Now let's open up the other guy's stuff. Now one thing I was hoping for is I was hoping that they would include a little bit of airline tubing since these use airline to float the thing with a as a pump so I was hoping to see pretty much the same thing main difference I see in this one is these guys wrapped it full just had everything loose in there that's not a huge difference but it is a little bit nice although you could also argue that this is more wasteful because now I have this plastic I'm going to throw away. Theirs has, Global has one finger hole, the Ista one has three, and the lid is quite a bit wider. Here's a difference. These guys, the tubes are all loose and partially pre-assembled. But so with this one you have a spray bar and then you'd hook your airline tube here and then the bubbles going up the tube would force water would create a vacuum and the water would go up with it and then i'm assuming it come out the spray bar and that's how you get water up in your little tank also has two doors This one also has some little attachment crap. We have some kind of clips, I'm assuming, to lock these down. And then there's a valve for the airline tube. And some standoffs to make it so it stands off in your tank. Let's compare the physical differences of the boxes. Ista was cheaper, and it looks like the Ista is actually bigger. The Ista is bigger. <laughs> Fulvul fits inside of it. They're almost exact though. 
Like even the design of the structure in the back of this on both of these looks the same. The outflow is the same design. Even this here is the same. One difference though is that the uh, flow bowl has these weird little blocks right here. I'm not sure what these are for. I'm guessing there's some kind of stops. But putting them next to each other, ISTA is taller and it is wider. It's probably like a half inch taller, maybe like a quarter inch to a, about a half inch wider. Very interesting. But other than that, their design is very similar. The plastics are about the same thickness. They have about the same amount of flex to them. Feel about the same quality. All right, I'm gonna test one more thing. I wanna compare the inner doors. The ISTA doors are much beefier, but they only have a grill at the bottom. Whereas the Flovel doors are really, they feel really flimsy, but they have a screen all the way through them. That could be why, but they're also like, probably like two thirds the thickness of these ISTA ones. Could be an advantage or a disadvantage, depending how you see it. Another one disadvantage I see on these, if you look at this one, it has a notch right here to go in here to index it into that spot. Whereas this one has this hook. That's kind of cheapy, man. Acrylic's not the strongest thing out there. I can see that a breaking one. Interesting thing is, is both of these have spots that you can put in three different chambers. I have to say this one was a lot easier to drop down. Because you can put one in the middle. Yeah. This one's a much tighter fit, so it's a lot harder to get it in the right spot. Whereas the full bowl was easy peasy. Sound good. But yeah, but you can make some really narrow chambers, man. But um, a lot of people use these for extra filtration or for uh, breeding boxes. I'm gonna use them for breeding for betas and to grow some plants in. But yeah, guys, um, let's pause it here and then I'll see you in a bit after I hook these up and we'll Check out how they work with the water and all that good stuff. All right, see you in a bit. So, here's the two hooked up with airlines. The Flowville came with this little tiny stretch of flow of airline. It's not bad. It's not the greatest, but it is nice that they included one. It's pretty short though. Their little valve that came with it. It's really crappy feeling. But um, I'm gonna put these in the tank. We're gonna put them in the same tank. I gave them each the same length of hose, so it shouldn't be too much of an advantage for either one of them. Although I do have to say, the, the, in, the, the bottoms of these tubes are pretty much the same. They're pretty interchangeable. Main difference is this one has a hard tube and this one has a sharp 90 on the ISTA, whereas the Fullville has a nice curve to it. Advantage on the ISTA is you can adjust it to go further out or in, like you can pull it crazy out, but the Fullville you cannot, it is set. And yeah, so let's pop these in. And then uh, I'll turn the air on. And that was the cap. Yeah. All right, so now that's hooked up. I do have to say I really like the valve that came on the ISTA. It is really beefy and it feels a lot better. 
All right, now I kind of want to adjust these. One advantage that this one has is these feet lock and they have numbers printed in them. So you can easily set them both to the same number and the amount of adjustment you can make is insane. Let's try that. The advantage is, is they don't stay in very well on either of these. So just set them both to three, which is pretty aggressive. Probably go a little bit more. This is on a 55 gallon tank. So that's set to the maximum distance. I think that works. This one, the feet are thicker and it has this nice little lip on here so you can easily turn them. These guys did too. The lip, the little turning knob was thicker but these ones, there's no indexing numbers and it's not cogged right here so it doesn't lock very well. It's round all the way around so it does slip. So that can be a disadvantage. And this one doesn't fit nearly as tight as the full hole. So this is this one on max setting. And I have both of them, I have the tubes extended down about as far as I'll go. The full is annoyingly not straight, even though it's locked into the indexing thing. That kind of bothers me. And it's off to the side of the tank. Whereas this one, it too is a little bit crooked, but it is a lot more straight. Don't mind the dirtiness in the tank guys. We're gonna turn it on and I'll adjust the knobs to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. So that's that one going. Maybe that one came in the on position. Man, if you didn't have a lid on this one, that would send water everywhere. That's another annoying thing. Okay, so the Insta has a spray bar, which you can see right here. So it's easier to, oh, sorry, it's easier to change the direction of flow. Whereas this one just has a hole in the side of the pipe. And it's rotatable, but that's it. Hopefully it's not this noisy all the time. But, um... Let me adjust the flow on this one. You guys seem to be filling up past me. That's off. It's all the way on. <laughs> all the way on, it's blowing air out the bottom. The other one's valve didn't have that much, didn't have enough adjustment to mess that up. There you go. There's our little female beta getting all interested in what's going on, guys. We're just stealing your water, little beta. Now, that is one thing that's annoying is the way they angled the pipes is it's very easy for the air to go out the bottom. I really don't like their design of these pipes here on either of these since they both have the exact same design. And then on the price on these, this one's $18, this one's $22. They're only, there's only a $4 difference. So far I would definitely go for this one. It's just bigger, the build quality is about the same to better, because I mean like, this is really crappy feeling. This one's really be this one's really beefy. And I like the adjustment that you have in this one's too. Like 
fine tune it so it's not glugging. But, um, yeah, guys, let us get this filled up and then we'll show you when it's uh, full. Oh, yeah, another thing I would like to point out is this one has multiple uh, outfeed gates. There's two different sizes with different grills to keep uh, smaller fish from getting out or particulates, whatever it is you're dealing with. Whereas this one only came with one grill. And then this one's grill is really loose, whereas the Fluvill is really tight. It's kind of interesting because the inner gates were different. These ones were really tight and these ones were really loose. But this one, the gates were tight. Another kind of odd thing is this one, there's no holes in the overflow lip here. The water's supposed to go out here, but if this gets clogged, it'll come out over through these slots. There's no holes in this, which I like. This one is annoying because there's holes through it, so you have to put these keys in. I mean, if it leaked, it would leak all over my floor because it's between the tank and this. I don't like that design. I, I prefer the solid where it, it's just gonna go in. Another thing I'm noticing is this one is smudges really easy. This one doesn't. This one must have a different kind of coating or something on it. But yeah, but so far my thoughts, I would go with the Insta. It's cheaper, it's bigger, it's about the same quality, and I just I like the advantages of this one better. And then like the, the expansion of the bar, the better flow valve, the not having holes in the, um, the outfeed tray, and then the sneaking lift tube not being crooked. I mean that it's not even adjustable. I mean that's that's me trying to adjust it. It's just made that way. It's really annoying. But yeah guys I have links in the bottom in the in the description and there's been another review here. Hope you guys have a fun time, a good day, and enjoy life.